Rover. and Rover Draft. They are part of a an anti-piracy hunting wing with the Lodito. So when I took over the Lodito, this Corvette here, the Blue Wing came with me. Nova. Is it Blue Wing? Not sure. Well, that's fine. They can follow me. It just means I've got a bunch of fighter crafts escorting me, effectively. As well they should be. I am important. I, I am the head of a corporation. Yeah. I didn't even notice. What didn't I notice? So much for checking chat. Hang on, what did I, what did I miss? Hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the stream's dead. Wait, hang on. The stream did the stream die like momentarily? That's that's the third time that's happened. My stream died there for a minute. Now it's okay. Yeah, so there must be some sort of problem, but I have no idea where it is. Is it my service provider? Is it hardware? Yeah, third time. Yeah, I did. I, I I built a new PC. But even still, it's only started happening like in the last three days. Well, three, four days. Oh, Christ. Uh, thank you, Demon. Thank you very much, Demon. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Right, sorry. For those just joining the stream, uh, I'm just... Uh, Docking, as in landing my ship, not putting my putting my penis in another man's penis, for that would be weird. <laughs> right. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to grab some energy. Welcome back on board. Connection okay. to energy local cells. network established. Uh, yeah, just take a full energy whatever cells. space I have left in Transfer. the cargo hold. Okay, jump drive activated. Go to Duke's Vision, please, which is just south by a couple of jump uh, gates. Go to the jump north gate. Charging at Speed up time. 20. How's my car, Prezi? The car is good. Thank you for asking. Although I don't really drive it as much. I need to make time. I'm just so busy with editing. Entering system, Duke's Vision. Okay. I don't know if Blue Wing have jump drives. I doubt it. It's a bit of an expensive investment for what are basically just fighter craft. Okay, right, so here we are at Duke's Vision. Bit of an empty sector orbiting a gas giant to the far south. Is that Bodhi's laser Complex tower facility? It is. Alpha, Mercury, and there's tanker, Bodhi himself. XL. So here I have a, a, a tanker that's supervising a laser tower facility that's been quite profitable, actually. Been quietly making lots of money for the corporation. And, of course, gives me access to laser towers whenever I need them. Oh, wow, they're actually full. You're full on laser towers? Are they selling them effectively? So as you can see, the whole game is about sorting out little bottlenecks and stuff like that in your production for maximum profit. Um, so hang on. Ships own. Bodhi. Your orders are what? Trade orders. What are your commercial representation orders? Um, trader settings. Where's list? Trade duties. No, you are a full trader. Okay, so you're buying and selling. So... The fact that it, it has 16 laser towers tells me that perhaps something's wrong. Sorry, let me just stop the ship. What's wrong with this picture? Complex hub alpha. Hang on. So this is the laser tower facility. Speed up time. So Bodhi's going to come into land in a minute. There you see that blip? There he is. So Bodhi's coming into land. He's docking with one of the arms. You see him? Hang on. Just gonna follow him for a second. Can I target him? Turn around. Did I disable? Uh, I've never switched them on, Mercury, Astro. Tanker, um, I think XL. I'm not. I'm not really on board with them. The bits thing. It's a bit silly. What happened to Total War Warhammer? Oh, I still play it. Just haven't played it in a while. Okay, so Bodhi's landing. Now, does he take flight Alpha. immediately? I want to see if he's trading for me. That's Complex the thing. Hub Alpha. So that's the hub. 
Oh, th there we go. So he just picked up two laser towers. Okay, no, it's fine. It's just that there is more supply than there is demand in this local area. That's fine, but there he goes. He's off jump. Hey, carry on, man. Hey, Bodhi's nice and reliable. Cool. So Bodhi... And, and bear in mind, each individual pilot picks up additional skill as they go. So Bodhi's quite skilled at that now. He's, uh, he's determined where the best places to sell are for maximum profit. So well done him. Right, so where is the problem? Right, here it is. Social system. As expected. Where's his facility? So it looks like a very large facility. I've certainly gone to town. Spared no expense. Uh, where is it? God damn it. Where's up and down in space? <laughs> to take me there. Granted. Autopilot activated. Have I tried Elite Dangerous? No, I've not, no. Nor normally or in VR, lonely. Do I play a lot of strategy resource management games? Is that my preferred game type? No, not really. I don't really play that many of them. I do like space games, though. I see it's so far away that it's beyond my view distance. A nice hot shower listening to me. That sounds gay, Red Dog. <laughs> that sounds weird, dude. There we go. There's the facility. Well, hi there, Red Dog. Can I do I have a camera? Did I install a camera in this? I did. Cool. So that's Social's facility. Multiple stations linked together by these walkways for the crew and for, uh, well, cargo. So let's have a look and see what they're doing. So this is where NEP's weapon systems Mercury will be manufactured. Hub Alpha. So hammer heavy torpedoes, two are currently built. It takes probably about an hour to build each individual torpedo. Flail barrage missiles. Hang on, so this is good. So they are in fact being built and sold. So is there a problem at all? So they're purchasing, so how this works, sorry, for those who are totally unfamiliar. This is the total energy credits of the facility, 1.8 million. Fucking hell, they're hoarding a bit of cash there. They are purchasing their resource that they require, energy cells, which are made by solar panels, solar stations around space. They're purchasing them for 16 energy credits. Who's doing the purchasing? Unnamed. So taking missiles to headquarters. Social. So hang on. Is Social doing everything? Let me just check. His orders. Trade orders. Start commercial representation. Show me your... Okay, so he's doing everything. So he is both buying energy cells and selling the torpedoes. Do I want him to sell the torpedoes? That's the next question. Um, hang on. Where, what's your skill? So, Major Dealer. So, he has the highest skill rank for selling, of course, because he, he apprenticed over at, uh, over at our, um, what is it? Our Nostrop Oil food facility before he came. Well, then he went to the headquarters and then he went here. So, he's super experienced, okay? Okay. Where's he gone? He's landing at a military outpost at Empire's Edge. Which is just north of us. Here. I'm sorry, what was that? Proximity warning? Oh, some of our laser towers are just destroying a rival corporation. That's fine. Okay, so... There's no problem, really. I suppose the question is whether or not I would like... Him to sell these or just bring them to the NEP. So back at Paranid Prime, I ordered the NEP to dock at the Paranid Shipyard. It has docked... Damn, no trading... Huh? Damn. This ship doesn't have a trading system extension. I can't remotely interface with that shipyard. That's stupid. Okay. Jump straight to Paranoid Prime. Here we go. Can I share the playlist? Um, this is uh, Julia Sawyer's SoundCloud. It's a playlist called Trippy Chill. 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. Jumping. Jumping. Okay, here we are. So this is the home world itself. A very, very busy system. Lots of shipping going on here and military patrols. So that's the net. I'll dock there myself because I want to pick up a trading system extension. But now that I'm within direct visual range, 
let me just communicate with the station. Oh, I can't even... God damn it. I have, to, I have to directly, physically interface with the station in order to order repairs on the net. Okay, so speeding up, so dilating time in the cockpit, so relative to me, everything's faster. Can I play EVE Online? Nah, I don't really have time for another MMO. My MMO days are over. I press trade instead of comms. Yeah, yeah. To Incoming trade. Message. Stand by. Incoming message. Uh. Oh, taking a while. Uh, wait a minute. One of my traders has a problem. Quaker man, a Demeter tanker. He screwed up his. Uh, okay, he needs my help. The AI's got stuck in a. It, it had. A, it can't sell its goods. Quaker man. Okay, I'll deal with him in a second. Right there we go. Successfully. <laughs> go to bed, broken Hi, baby. Our priest Emperor Czar, our priest Duke, is okay. delighted to welcome such as you aboard. So Nep's hull is 67% damaged. To bring it up to 100%, I have to pay... Uh, stand by. What is that? One point... Price. Is that 16 million? How much is that? Oh. Okay, well we got her anyway. Um... Is that is that 1.6 million or 16 million? I can't tell. Well, we got the cash either way. Uh, so I've got 57 million in the bank. Okay, NEP's been repaired. Yeah, it was 16 million. 16 million. Ow, Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Okay. 16 million. Um, right, so while we're here, I'll just upgrade the Ladito. Get a, yeah, trading system extension. I must have trading cannibalized it for another ship. Installed. Is that everything? Yeah, it's fine. Alright. So, Nep, could you uh, head back home? Where is she? Uh, she's there. Docked on one of the arms. Can you head back to the... Wait. Empire's edge. What's her armament? Stand by. So, Nep is a missile frigate. A very powerful missile frigate that can pretty much destroy everything. It's got uh, very powerful torpedoes. Um, where is she, sorry? Oh, of course, she's docked. I can't see her. Hang on. She's powered down. Okay, power up your engines. Uh, navigate back to Savage Spur, the headquarters. Docking go home. Command accepted. Before you go, let me, see your, let me see your armament. What do you have in your weapons base? Weapons. So you've got four boarding pods right now. She's got 31 flail barrage missiles and 12 hammer heavy torpedoes. So she's fairly light. Well, this, this is enough to destroy uh, quite a few ships, but she needs way more. Okay. We'll head back to the headquarters. Back at Duke's Vision. Let me have a look. I'm in the shipping lane, so I just got to move before someone crashes into me. Hi there, uh, Higaroth. Hello. Welcome. Nep's expensive. Yes, she is. Nep is very expensive. Uh, she's fucking 16 million. Hi there, Clappus. Uh, ZF Clappus is in the... Oh, no, wait, sorry. It's a raid, isn't it? Is that like a host thing? Yeah. Hi there, Clappus, and welcome Clappus's audience to a bit of X3 Albion Prelude. Um, sorry, bear with me just a minute. You just caught me in the middle of trying to work something out. Um, right, so Nep is returning home. So that missile frigate that I own over there is about to enter a... Uh, it's about to initiate a point-to-point -point jump drive back to the corporate headquarters in Savage Spur where it will dock and then await further orders. I'd send it out on pi anti-piracy no patrol aim. missions, but I'm not so confident that it has sufficient weapon systems yet. And obviously, I'd like to send it a fighter escort. Nova. Speaking of fighter escort, here comes Blue Wing. They're finally caught up to me without jump drives. They're having to fly manually through the uh, <laughs> through the gates. Okay. Nova. Um. Anyway, Duke's vision. Duke's vision. Okay. Now, what am I doing? Just. 
Duke's vision. So social systems flail and hammer heavy torpedo facility. So it's still producing and selling. Okay. Uh, Pickle Tiger says a raid is a host that just shoves the viewers into the hosted channel. Well, what? So why why has that been implemented? Um, presumably, yeah. Why Pickle Tiger? Do you know? Because that seems a bit. I don't know. Like if I if I were sitting in a stream, I, I don't want to get forced into someone else's stream if I'm not interested in them. Like when the host window appears and I can see what they're like, then maybe I'll switch over. Why don't I post on YouTube so often, uh, ABJ? Uh, the time between each YouTube video is spent making the next one. They have a huge uh, time investment. Or rather, my particular editing style has a huge time investment. Hmm. Okay, so hang on. Uh, keep getting distracted. So the facility itself has got everything it needs in terms of food and ore. It just needs energy. Okay, I think it's good, truth be told. So, let's have the ships that were there. You're buying wares, aren't you? A courier, I see. Okay. Carry on. Right, so this, yeah, hang on. Thank you, Davin. Thank you kindly, Davin. Thank you. Right, so I just need two quick volunteers. Uh, okay, I just need two quick volunteers. Uh, any subs wish to uh, join the corporation? I have two transport vessels that are going to be apprenticing under Social System. So uh, Social System has got a flail barrage missile facility. Um, he's going to have two employees that are just going to be running fetch missions um, to purchase energy and gain experience. At which point I may assign them to other facilities if I so choose. Okay, so just very quickly, fish pickles. So fish pickles is what though? I'll find out in a minute. Unknown ship class, fish pickles. And then there's a dolphin super freighter. Okay, just give them names. Uh, dolphin super XL is the second one. Okay, and let's go with I love snow. Thank you guys. Okay, uh, let me just, yeah, look, can you see how busy the shipping lane is? Look how many ships are coming in. Civilian. So as I said, the whole game is a big is a big aquarium. Uh, all of these other corporations, like me, are doing their own thing. Or other states and uh, various different militaries. They're all. Aranid, military, Aris. So it's a, that, that's the same class as, as the NEP. Uh, that's the, another missile frigate that belongs to the Paranid military. Right here. So as you can see, we're buying surplus military equipment for the corporation. Yeah. Um. Our own private defense force for our own twisted needs. Do I still animate each frame individually? Depends on the situation, Lieutenant Bunnybutt. Uh, I do automate what I can, but you'll be surprised at how limited automation can actually be. Uh, if we're talking about uh, tracking something on a, a, a crystal clear HD uh, real life piece of footage, then normally that's not too difficult, but game footage with uh, very sometimes uniform lighting conditions. Uh, compression artifacts, small resolution, and just generally the fact that games move around a lot means that auto tracking consistently fails far more often than it succeeds. So I normally have to manually keyframe it myself anyway. The the split is probably about oh hard it's hard to quantify it. Probably like eighty percent, eighty percent, twenty percent. So like eighty percent manual, twenty percent automated. It's that limited. Right, sorry. Um, so back at Duke's Vision. Let me just jump drive down there. I was going to use the gate, but... Uh, jump device charging at 10%. Missiles aren't accounted for in out-of-sector combat, so... And, oh, really? Oh, that that sounds like an oversight. <laughs> it's a pew-pew. In which case, I can't send Nep on anti-piracy operations. So what Sir Pew Pew just said is that when, uh, so basically everything here is obviously being rendered and shown and calculated, but when it's off the sector, it's mostly based on sort of, it, it's calculations based on stats really. However, Pew Pew tells me that the missiles that NEP fires are not actually tracked by that system. So NEP is severely underpowered when she's not on screen. 
So I better keep her close. I, I better make sure that she's either my player ship if I'm in battle or is with the fleet that's next to my player ship. Thank you, Zakaris. Thank you very much, Zakaris. Thank you. Really? Sir Pew Pew? Is that true? I, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Is that true? That's crazy. How could the developer not do that? Missiles aren't tracked off screen. Okay. Hmm. It's, in, it's an inadvertent balancing factor for their insane power in systems. Yeah, I suppose. Rosie. So Rosie points out that yeah, missile frigates are crazy powerful. So a single torpedo, a heavy hammer torpedo, uh, could probably probably destroy this vessel. It, they are so fucking ridiculously strong. Like OP strong. Thank you, Crammed. Thank you very much, Crammed. Thank you. Right, anyway, so what was I doing? So over here at uh, Social Systems Flail and Hammer Heavy Torpedo Facility, let's make sure that... So uh, Social System is returning home. So I'm just going to modify his orders. What's he got? Oh, he's got energy cells. Let me just wait until Social is home. He drops off these energy cells. Welcome, Mr. Permaban. Welcome. Maybe I should watch where I'm flying, because I'm I almost hit a rock. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Permaban. Glad you like him. I shall endeavor to make more. Okay. Don't forget. Oh, yes. Quaker Man did send me a message. I did forget about him. Uh, so, Quaker Man, one of my ships, one of my traders. Where is he? Uh, sort by ships. Quaker, Quaker, Quaker. got a whole load of fresh ships that I've just manufactured. Is it a military ship? Oh, there he is. Sorry. I'm being blind. Um, right, so he's awaiting orders. His hull is full of magic snails. Oh, he's having trouble selling them. So he, he, he's landed at a, at a space jewelry. Oh, come on. You're better than this, Quaker. Hang on. Oopsie. Uh... Quaker. Quaker man Demet Demeter Tanker. Super experienced trader has been assigned to Boron Space. No, I must have reassigned him to the Cardinal Drift Sector. Look, he's over there. Look, he's at Sacred Relic. So he's over here in the Paranid sort of new colonies. Alright, just. Command accepted. Leave the station. Stop. Command accepted. Jettison your freight. The the corporation will just assign it as a loss. It's fine. Spo uh, spoilage. Um, begin your. Where did I sign you? Begin your sector trading trading around that same area with a five jump drive distance only. So I've I, I turned him off and on again. Yeah, he's off. Okay, good. Quaker man's good. All right. He got stuck because he couldn't sell his inventory and he didn't know what to do. Complex hub alpha. So I told him to just jettison it in space and we'll just, just fine. We'll just chalk it down as a loss. Can you play this with ZF? It's a single player game, Hexfields. <laughs> so no. How often do I play Warhammer Total War? Eh, whenever I fancy it, really. Not recently, though. Um, Those poor magic snails. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> Good point, actually. I just jettisoned, I presume, several million live snails. <laughs> created a shipping hazard. Suddenly someone just flies through a... Oh, what's that? It's like, it's like a, a debris field. Ah, the snails! Suddenly loads of snails stick to the, the glass on the cockpit and they can't see anything. They're eating, the, they're eating the electrical cables, Captain. Yeah, I'm sure it'll happen. Anyway, um, so... Uh, ham, sorry, hammer heavy torpedoes. So he's by, yeah, so what I wanted to do here... So her social system landed. So ZF social system is coming back with a whole load of energy cells. Mercury tanker XL. That's Leon. That's fish pickles. There's social. He's over there. Mercury super freighter so XL. So social is a massive ship, as you can see. A super long phallic object that will thrust deep into space in search of resources to please the corporation. Um... 
Yes, so he's coming back with a lot of energy cells. But what I'm going to do after he lands is I'm going to tell him instead to uh, sell the missiles and let the apprentices handle the energy collecting. Mainly because the purchasing part is easy. The selling bit's the hard bit. So they'll get experience purchasing and social can obviously focus on the hard bit. Phrasing. There he is, coming to land. La -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. Bish bash bosh. He's landed. No aim. He's landed, there we go. Complex hub alpha. There he is. Somewhere. Is he on the Oh, must be on the other side, I can't see him. Never mind. Um Right, so I'll wait until he takes flight. Or maybe he won't because his cargo base full. No, he is. There we go, job done. Stop command. Your orders will now change. Instead, I would like you to start commercial representation. And instead of being a trader, which means you buy and sell, you are to just be a salesman. So just sell the hammer heavy torpedoes and the flail barrage missiles. Thank you, Wobi. Thank you very much, Wobi. Thank you kindly. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, carry on. Command accepted. So now he'll sell what's here. There we go. Oh, he's avoiding a collision. Yeah, he's too close to the docking arm. Right, and then we'll have his Complex lackeys hub alpha. do the rest of it. Thank you, Kling Hands. Thank you very much, Kling Hands. Thank you. Okay. Fish Pickles, what ship are you again? You're a... I don't know what you are. Are you in the system? Okay. You're a transport something. Uh, unknown transport. Okay, so Fish Pickles, your orders are to start commercial representation. And you are to just do the... Oh, good, you're already assigned. All right, carry on. Command accepted. Sweet. And then I Love Snow, do the same. Commercial rep yeah, commercial representation, shopper, good, good. Command accepted. Sweet. And then they're going to go off and purchase energy cells for this factory. Right. Uh, now, 1.9 million credits. Yikes, guys. You're hoarding some cash there for the corporation. Let's remedy that situation. Um, I'd like you to auto-transfer... Uh, Auto transfer. Let's give them a maximum of seven hundred thousand for purchasing purposes. The rest is to be transferred to the coffers of the corporation. There we go. So that's their ceiling. The rest comes to Soviet Womble, Soviet Womble Catering. Right. Uh, thank you, uh, Cling Hands again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bloody hell, time's flying. Why is the text so hard to read? Ah, uh, is it hard to read? Well, it's yeah, it's not it's not the largest text for me either, frankly. Um, Mercury Super Freighter what's social XL. Doing? No aim. Oh, he's landing. It's fine. So hang Complex on. Let's... Hub Alpha. So social has just landed. What did he just take? Mercury Super Freighter He XL. just took the hammer heavy torpedoes. So he carefully loaded four hammer heavy torpedoes, presumably nukes. So whatever you do, don't crash. No there we go. He's jump drived away to Complex sell them. Hub Alpha. Lovely, 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 lovely. Welcome, Hill. Who cares? Welcome indeed. Okay, so next problem. Umlaut's particle accelerator cannon facility is behind me. It's flashing yellow and has been flashing yellow for quite a while now. So what's the problem? Oh yes, and also we'll see what the stock market demand is for those hammer heavy torpedoes. Right, so let's fly over here. Speed up time. Hi, Dragoner. And hello, Zamp. Hey, folks. So for those just joining the stream, I'm just currently flying around space trying to sort out uh, kinks in the supply chain for my space corporation, Soviet Womble Catering. We provide delicious and nutritious snacks to uh, most of Paranid Space and also the Argon as well. 
And uh, we do dabble a little bit in arms dealing. But, you know, who doesn't? Ah, there we go. There's uh, the particle accelerator cannon facility that's being run by Umlaut and apparently has a problem. Also, before I forget, I need to add fish pickles and I love snow over to socials uh, list here on this Google Doc. Uh, so, fish pickles. And I love snow. Uh, unknown transport. Well, what was the other? Oh, fuck, what was it? I can't remember what it was. Hang on. Uh, autopilot. Cancel autopilot. Shit. Keep forgetting who's flying which ship. Uh, social system, own ships. Dolphin super freighter. So he's flying a boron ship. Dolphin super. Status alive. Okay, so assigned as apprentice under social buying energy credits very good okay right okay Complex hub so this alpha. is umlaut's particle accelerator cannon facility um how's the video coming along scrub slowly but steadily it is coming together i've got loads of work done the last couple of days though holy shit did very well um Right, um, so there are two employees, Umlaut himself and the Big Schnoz, according to my records. Where are they? You're both sitting there doing nothing. Why are you sitting there doing nothing? Okay, the Big Schnoz. So they're both... Wow, hang on. The Big Schnoz has more, has more trade experience than Umlaut now. What? Really? What happened? Okay. So Umlaut is... Okay, the whole facility shut down and both of my traders are just sitting there with their thumbs up their asses. There's no energy to run anything. The lights are off. <laughs> okay, you've got 43 units of particle accelerator cannons ready to sell. What's the problem? Let me just check the stock market. Is there a demand? Have we, have we saturated the market? Stock exchange for the Paranid area so this is right so for those unfamiliar this will show me all of the items that can be acquired or sold or produced or whatever all of the items that you can that your corporation can sort of dabble in well it's not strictly true it will show things that your corporation has no ability to manufacture you can steal them through piracy but you can't manufacture some of these um so let's go up to weapons where's right weapons so particle accelerator cannons no there is a limited demand so look, there, there is. This is the supply. This is the demand. Oh no, sorry, I'm, I'm, I got it backwards. We have saturated the market. So there's one eight, one eight three supply and only sixty four demand. So yes, we have indeed saturated the market, and there's, they can't sell at that current price. If I lower the price, new price. Well, no, it says two jumps away. Hmm. Okay, maybe they just need a cash injection. Maybe maybe because they saturated the market, the facility ground to a halt and then they couldn't sell anything more. I don't know. Hang on. You're on standby. What are your current orders? CLS on standby. I wish there was a way I could just see his current... So, hang on. CAG versus CL... What's CLS, sorry? I can't remember this. What What did I put on his thing? Um, Umlaut. So, setting up and operating the pack facility. I didn't really put much detail there. Um, oh. Happy birthday to your brother, Al uh, Alavani. Happy birthday, indeed. Uh, took me ten minutes. Happy birthday to him. Okay. Complete lost service. I don't think that's what it means, Spikey. Um, sorry, can you bear with me a minute? I'm just going to go for a quick wee-wee because I'm desperate for a wee. Hang on. Oh. Oof. What do you want, sausage? Hmm? What do you want, darling? Yeah, who's a good dog? Hang on. 
Ah, there we go. Back in a moment. <laughs> A dog's ass. Quality content here, folks. Got your leg. I got your leg. I got your leg. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You want attention, don't you? You want attention. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know. You like a back rub, don't you? You do? <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, so she can sit over there. I know, honey bunny. She's bored. Right. Where's the tail? She does have a tail. It's just really tiny and sort of curled up like a pig's tail. And it's uh, beneath a little fold of skin right at, right at her, uh, well, at her back. So I'm just going to pour a quick drink. Hang on, what's that? Did I have Bailey's in this class? No, I think it's alright. Is Lulu over the pregnancy thing? I think she is, yes. She had a phantom pregnancy, for those unfamiliar. Which apparently is quite common in unspayed bitches. They can get confused quite easily and then think they're pregnant and then act really defensively. Because obviously they, th they think they're having puppies. So she's gotten over it now. She's, uh, she's chilled out considerably now. She's more relaxed. Um, thank you, Jordan. Thank you very much, Jordan. Thank you kindly. Right, anyway, so let me just try and figure it Right, so we've saturated the particle accelerator cannon market, okay? But we do have 43 particle accelerator cannons to sell. Particle accelerator cannons are... I think I've got some mounted on my ship. No, I don't. They're, they're basically fighter weapons. In fact, some of the fighter... I've got a fighter escort with me now. Hang on. I wonder if some of the fighters have them. Okay, these. Nova. Show me your weapons loadout. Impulse ray emitters. Yeah, so they've got three, four particle accelerator cannons apiece. Fair enough. Let me just demonstrate. Well, no, I don't have a teleporter aboard. Um, so hang on. Does the corporation need particle accelerator cannons? Go to Savage Spur. This is the corporate headquarters. Go to my uh, equipment dock, which is here. Particle accelerator cannons. How many do we have aboard the station? We have 38 units. We could always do with more. Okay. I'm going to give them a cash injection so they keep producing more for the sake of the corporation. Thank you, Reven, uh, Reven, Reven Gantz. Thank you very much, Reven Gantz. Thank you. Will I stream Complex Dark Souls again? Hub. Yeah, I'm sure I will, Deputy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to send over a million credits. Three million credits. Funds transfer. Okay, so with the 3 million credit cash injection, hopefully, Umlaut wakes the fuck up. Hmm. I had an alarm go off, did I? <clears throat> did my phone do something? No, don't see it. They're not moving. 
Well, you've got your cash injection. You can go purchase energy. Let me have a look. Energy set. Yeah, you can purchase energy. You can purchase ore. Pay a little bit more for new the ore. Price new a little price bit more for selected. the energy. What's the issue? Oh, hang on. Ship. There's a ceiling. It's uh, gone over the ceiling for the amount of money it can hold. Oh, there was an alarm in game. Oh, it might be a proximity warning. Someone was under attack. Probably a, a laser tower or something. Where is it again? Message log. Uh, oh, I don't know what it is. So what's the problem? Uh, hang on. So what am I doing? Okay, keep about two million. This isn't the problem, but I'm just... Hang on. Okay, the station has about two million. Thank you, TK. Thank you very much, TK. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know what the problem is. So, Umlaut, show me your trade orders. Trade duties are to act as a full trader, both buying and selling. Thank you, Five Guys, One Vulture. Thank you very much, Five Guys. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you, TK. Thank you kindly, TK. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what to do, so I'm just reading the chat. All right, uh, beyond maybe Command accepted. tell them to get on with it. Did they just bug out? <clears throat> Did I switch them off? Maybe, hang on. No resources, I didn't like turn them off. No. So they don't have the energy, but both traders can happily buy energy, and there's plenty within the sector. Okay. Wait, one of them's moving. Kaiman. Big Schnoz is moving off to purchase energy. So what happened? Which one are you going to? The big schnoz is going to Queen Space. No aim. Which is all the way up there? Why? Hang on. Ah? Why are you going all the way up there for? I guess it's the cheapest one within range. Evidently, 12 credits. Oh, I don't get it. I don't I don't sorry, I don't understand why this facility is being so fucky. I'm trying to sort out a bottleneck in the production, but I don't know what the bottleneck is. Okay, so hang on. So I'm just watching to make sure he comes back. So right now, the big schnoz, that green blip, is stopping off at that solar power facility, purchasing a full cargo bay of energy cells and has now returned via this jump Complex gate Alpha. there Mercury Tanker no, that's Bodhi. XL. where's he gone then He's down there somewhere oh he must be up here where's the gate oh wait fuck Kaiman. there he is big schnoz Okay, so it's a small ca uh, Cayman vessel coming in with a full cargo hold of energy. Which isn't much to be fair, it's only 3,000. Maybe we should get a bigger ship. Right. 
Right. Complex hub alpha. Okay. So Big Schnoz drops off 3,000 units. Yeah, they're going to need way more, aren't they? Okay, so now the facility powers up. There we go. Meat steak kahunas are full. So they've got plenty of food. Yeah, there we go. The particle accelerator cannons roar back to life. Machinery starts whirring again. Darkness turns to light as all the lumen lights activate and the staff get back to work. But I, I want to know why they're not selling the 43 units, because it clearly says that there's somebody within reach. Chiman. No complex mm. hub alpha. Maybe. Maybe I'm misreading this. Oh, wait, Umlaut's doing something. Destination. Jump to dark waters. No, he's off Complex to pick up more energy. Alpha. Are we good? I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm just... Uh, uh, going, my mind is going places. Um, Jackal, sorry. Uh, uh, forgive, forgive me. I'm not trying to sound like a dick. Um... But business-wise, I don't do that. If, if, assuming that you want to talk to me about what I think you want to talk to me about, as in, like, advertising shit, uh, I don't do that. Um, another man's game. But thank you anyway. I'm not interested in shilling products or, or that jazz. I don't really care. Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay, I don't know what to do. This one stumped me a bit. This, this facility stump me because I don't know what the problem is. That's, I, I don't know how to I don't know how to fix the problem if I can't identify it. I guess we just don't have a maybe, maybe the problem is, is that I built a facility that lacks demand. Maybe. Uh, yeah, Jackal then I definitely don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, looking to work with some streamers slash influencers. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, another man's game. That word makes me want to throw up, basically. Thank you, Spottable. Thank you very much, Spottable. Okay. Okay, tell you what I can do. Hang on a minute. Let's go to Savage Spur, which is the headquarters. Just had an idea. And here, so if we've got the equipment dock... So we do have a demand for the uh, the particle accelerator cannons. Who's managing the equipment dock? Aggie's equipment dock. But Aggie's now a carrier. So we probably need, need a new name. Right? Catering headquarters, landed ships, Aggie. Yeah, we probably need a new, new name for this. <laughs> uh, hang on. Let me just quickly give it a new name. Any volunteers? Anyone in the chat? <clears throat> Is Swat Knight still here, actually? This is quite an important station. Uh, let's go with you. Hang on, I've got a name. I just see one. Twiggy. Twiggy's equipment dock. Okay. Welcome, Twiggy. Yeah, hang on. Are you on my list? No, you're not. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Currently unmanned and mothballed, so I'm just gonna Twiggy's equipment dock. There we go, Twiggy's equipment dock. Uh, Savage Spur, Corpor corporate HQ. What I was thinking here is if we assign a vessel to grab resources, specifically the particle accelerator cannons, we can use them to outfit the ships. Um, so, do I have a spare ship? Docked at well, yeah, we've got loads. Holy shit! And we've got a whole load of novas that we're building as well. Fighters that we can, yeah, that we can give these weapons. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so uh, let's make it a well. We'll make it a small, fast vessel. So a Cayman here. This is going to be Twiggy. All right, Twiggy, Cayman. Okay, Twiggy, you're going to be assigned home base, Savage Spur, Twiggy's equipment dock. Okay, before you go home, though. Twiggy, Twiggy, Twiggy. Let's have a look and see. Um, thank you very much, Magbutus. Thank you kindly, Magbutus. Thank you. 
Uh, so two 25 megajoule shields. Oh, good. You're already outfitted. Hooray! All right. Really? How did you get... Oh, I guess it's like an auto outfit thing. And you got a jump drive. What? What? Like, all these ships are... Fully outfitted and ready to go. Good lord. Did I did I outfit them earlier? I must have done. What's that? Oh, wow. Thank you, Six Gun Harlequin and Lord Jules. But holy shit, Six Gun Harlequin. That's very, very, very kind of you. Thank you for doing that. Hang on a minute. Sorry, you've broken my chat window. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, wow. Thank you, Six Gun Harlequin. Sincerely. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you for your kind support. Thank you. Right. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh, so, Twiggy, Twiggy, Twiggy. Uh, so, what do I need to do with you? So, you, do you have trade software? Start commercial representation. Uh, I think I need to give you an internal logistics thing, don't I? Let, let me just send, get some, uh, hang on. I just need to set up the ship. Energy cells. Take a thousand energy cells. Then let me configure your jump drive so that you use it when ordered. Yeah. Very good. Then I want you to jump. Paranid Prime. Go to the shipyard here. Thank you, Protector. Thank you very much, Protector. Thank you. Right, hang on. So Twiggy is just jumping over to Paranid Prime. Oh, loads of yellow. One thing after another, isn't it? So here's Paranid Prime. Here comes Twiggy, the Cayman. He's off the dock at, dock at the shipyard here. And when he arrives, I'm going to upgrade him with some trade software. Yes, indeed, Twiggy. Internal trading. But I haven't done much of it, so I don't really know how it works. Or at least I can't remember. Twiggy, there you are. Upgrade. So trade command, trade command. Uh, I don't think this one has it. Yeah, it's called like in. What are they called again? No, maybe this one doesn't have it. Where can I purchase what I need? It's like internal command. Yeah, what is it called again? Is it Argon Prime, maybe? Federal Argon Shipyard. Federal Equipment Dock, perhaps? Trade Command Software. Commodity Logistics Software, MK1 and 2, isn't it? I think. So is there one here at Paranoid Prime? Paranoid Equipment Dock? No. Damn, it's in Argon Space only? Maybe? Argon Prime. Docking Federal granted. Equipment Dock. Command accepted. Trade software is usually to Ladi, says bye. Yeah? I think the Argon have it just fine. Argon Prime. Sorry, for those confused as to what I'm doing, I'm sort of uh, directing you a have single. Recognition. I have now achieved a new rank. What rank? Don't know what it was. Or maybe I've just done like a small patch of recognition. Holy shit. Uh, six gun Harlequin subs are still going. Thank you, Six Gun. Sincerely. Hmm. Right. Federal, hang on. Federal Arg Argon Equipment Dock. Trade. Commodity Logistics Software MK1 and 2. Duplex scanner installed. Okay. Right. Now I think this will let me. I might be wrong. Start internal commodity logistics. Here we go. So I think. How does one set this up? Home base products. Supplier and consumers. Uh, right, so let's let's try and let me try and decipher this because again I haven't really worked with much of this. Jump drive settings. Use jump drive. Yes. Keep maximum jump drive. Yeah. Good. So that's all good. So his jump drive's okay. Automatic naming. Ah, uh, I don't know what that is. Let's configure reports. Oh, yeah. So he'll send me reports on stuff. Hi there, SWAT Knight. Hello. Okay. Supplier and consumers, supply conditions, home-based products. Products, no entries. 
add product, particle accelerator cannon. Okay, and then this is, so let's go with average price. Okay. Suppliers and consumers. Suppliers, one entry. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, no, I'm, I've got this, I've got it backwards, haven't I? He's now using the equipment dock to supply equipment to the people that I specify. So I need to do it the other way round. So Twiggy needs to take equipment from the particle accelerator cannon facility. I think. Or maybe, hang on, can I just do, can I just set it as a, as a, hang on, I've just got a different, a different idea. What if I cancelled this and instead told him to become a co commercial representation and then specify only particle accelerator cannons from that facility. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Trader settings. So, trader settings. Where's list? Here we go. So, white list. Trade list. Only. Forgive me if you're watching this with your, with your head in your hands. Because I, I don't know how this works yet. Particle accelerator cannons. I think. Okay. Trade duties. Trader, so shop only. And then station settings. Trade range, nine jumps. Uh, so he's going all over. Hi there, Quebec. Uh, ZF Swat Knight and ZF Quebec are both in the chat. Folks, feel free to say hi. So that you're not even... Uh, sorry, Agarov says you're not even watching me anymore. That's fine. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Start commercial representation. Station settings. Exceptions. No. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Only trade with... Only trade with satellite. Oh, here we go. Sector type list. Trade list. Stations. Ah! Yes! There we go. And then I just go... Uh, Duke's Vision. Umlauts Particle Accelerator Facility. I think? Question mark? And then that's it. Command accepted. Right? And then Twiggy is returning home. So the first things first, he's going home. Good plan. So which is Savage Spur. And then, well, the, the equipment dock doesn't have any cash anyway. Thank you, Dave97Gold123. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Right, so the let's give it like 3 million credits. Not, th uh, yeah, whatever, fine. Funds okay, so give Twiggy's equipment dock three million credits, and specify that uh, send over. Yeah, maximum. Okay. Play insurgency. Do you mean the new one? Uh, I don't really know anything about it. We used to play ins the, the previous insurgency. We played it for a while. I thought it was okay. The other guys, uh, so Cy and uh, Edberg, didn't like it, so we didn't really play it again. They were big on CS:GO at the time, so I don't know. Maybe they. I I thought it was fine. I rather enjoyed it. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's Twiggy then? Here he comes. So I'm just looking at a representation of the Savage Spur, my headquarters sector. It's actually better to just sit here on this on this view sometimes because uh, obviously the asteroids aren't rendered, so they're not having to go uh, like dodge around them. <clears throat> but yes, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world, whatever it is you're doing. So there goes Twiggy. No wait, where's Twiggy? I've lost him. Twiggy's blipped off the scanner. Twiggy has... Oh, he's still returning home. Oh, he's at Heron's Nebula. What? Oh, is he flying manually? Oh, fuck. Is he fly... He's flying manually. Is that maybe because he lacks the, pre the necessary skill in order to use the jump drive? Question mark? Thank you, Ambiguous Martian. Thank you very much, Ambiguous. Thank you. Yeah, so even though the, the, the ship is well equipped, the pilot is new. It's an apprentice. Thank you, board unit. Thank you very much, board unit. Thank you. It's a single player. Yes, it is, Pliskin. It's very, very single player. So I'm just following Twiggy's progress. 
where, well, hang on, he's got master tricks. I've sent him all the way up to Argon Space. Wait, why is he in the Heron's Nebula? Where the hell does he go? Oh, wait a minute. I see, he's going up here because between Kingdom's End, yes, there is a, a Dyson Sphere that I've put there. Okay, so he's going, so here's Argon Prime. Sorry, I pointed at my monitor, I don't know why I did that. Um, here's Argon Prime, he's flying up to Heron's Nebula, then here, then here, then here. He'll enter this sector, which has a, a Dyson Sphere in it of my own, uh, not, not design, but I've certainly stolen it. And it connects here, I think. Yeah, so it connects next to the headquarters, so he's on his way home. Alright, just give him a minute. Thank you, Millimolo. Thank you very much, Millimolo. Thank you kindly. Uh, thank you very much, Pigs. That's very generous, but uh, no need. My my uh, existing Twitch subs and uh, patrons have been extremely generous to me. Um, however, if you're interested, uh, there are many other ZF members uh, who stream, and I'm sure they'd love they'd love your your support. Thank you, thank you very much for the consideration, though. Thank you. But yes, uh, I've I've been very lucky. My my subs and my patrons have been extremely kind to me, so uh, I'm all good when it comes to bits and and donations. But thank you anyway, sincerely. You can make a Dyson Sphere. No, but we found one and we bought it back online. It's part of like the main quest. Okay, so we're just waiting for Twiggy to turn up. Thank you, Pig. Thank you very much, Pig. <laughs> Thank you for something. Much appreciated. Thank you. What's all the traffic in the bottom right? Uh, civilian traffic doing their thing. So uh, individual corporations, militaries, just people going about their day. It's a big sandbox. It's a big, big aquarium. I'm not the only ship out there. Not the only corporation out there. Plenty of other competing corporations. Hell, you can even go to the stock exchange and see how they're doing. Look. Corporate indexes. Here are all the other corporations that are floating about in space. I've even got some investment in some of them, actually. Oh, God. Minus three million. Minus six million. <laughs> so, yeah. You can see a representation of how well they're doing is kind of cool. A space box. Yes, indeed. It's a space box, Quebec. Um, hang on. Let me just look at the, the prices. So, hang on. So, adjust station parameters. So, particle accelerator cannons. Three jumps away. And so, 38,956 credits. Okay. 38,956 credits. Okay, yeah, just buy them for their sale, their sale price. Should be fine. So, sorry, Umlaut's particle, acceler uh, particle cannon accelerator facility is now up and running again. They've made 52 particle accelerator cannon units. Okay. Is that Twiggy? Twiggy's arrived. Okay, so let's see if it works. Hi, Edberg. Uh, ZF Edberg has now joined the chat, everybody. Feel free to say hi. So that's Edberg, Quebec, and SWAT Knight. Three useless motherfuckers. I mean, friends and 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 clan mates all. Yeah, feel feel free to say hello. Okay. Well, so whilst Twiggy's docking there, I just need to update his uh, thing. Hang on. So Twiggy. Okay, so it's a Cayman. Cayman. His status is currently alive, and so it's not mothballs. So hang on a minute. Um. Dedicated fighter headquarters. Yeah. Dedicated fighter headquarters. Uh, currently managed by Twiggy, who is buying packs. Particle accelerator cannons. Okay. So let's see what he does. So 38 units of particle accelerator cannons, four photon pulse cannons, four ion cannons. Eight ion pulse cannons, so these are capital ship weapons. Nice. Very nice. So this is where we can stockpile our equipment for distribution amongst the security forces of the corporation. Okay, so Twiggy has landed. Let's let him have a think. So will the AI follow the... Well, I hope I gave the right command. I don't know if I even gave the right command. We'll find out. Edberg is your favourite ZF member and you have his poster above your bed. Ah. Do you stare at it for late at night longingly? Just, you know, dreaming about him. 
I'm sure he'd like that, actually. I'm sure he'd sit there grinning. Hmm. How's Lulu? She's okay. She just flopped behind me. She probably wants to go out for a run, to be honest. She's probably a bit bored. Um, I don't have the time right now. Later on. Later on. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you very much, Paolo. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Edberg's face. Right. <clears throat> okay, so Twiggy's not moving. While he's just sitting there for a minute, let me just have a look. We do have a number of Novas that are... Yeah, the headquarters was, in fact, building... Was it building some fighters? Yes, it's building five Novas. So the headquarters itself, the staff members are actually assembling fresh ships. So I might as well send these Novas over to that facility. So hang on, landed ships, the Novas. How does one do this, sorry? That's not it. That's not it either. How does one order? Landed ships, command console landed ships. Broadcast to all dock ships. There we go. Broadcast to all M5, M4, and M3. So these are f these are fighter crafts. Okay. I want you to go and dock at. So the newly manufactured fighter crafts dock at Twiggy's equipment dock. Command accepted. There we go. So a number of Novas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six Novas, a Buster, and a Raijin. So just a, a, a mix, a hodgepodge group of fighter craft with currently no wing designations. They're flying in the little train there. From the headquarters to Twiggy Station, where they will get armed and become part of the security forces of the corporation. Okay. This is a corporation management game. Yeah, effectively. Sorry, who are they? That's a Cayman. Andy White Shoes. What's he doing? Docking it. Ah? What? M3? No, it's a Nova, sorry. I misread it. Just a slow Nova. Okay. Right. Okay then. Sweet. So, let's have a look and see. So, there are 16 ships now. Oh, wait. Some of my prototype ships came with it. Doom Knight Fury, the Nova, the Palpatine, my... Oh, yeah. I, oh, I did have a personal Nova. Yeah, interesting. A Buster. Blue Wing. There are elements of Blue Wing here. Hang on. If, <laughs> if there are elements of Blue Wing here, then who the fuck are they? Who's this? Who are you? Nova. Who the... Hang on. Uh, who's Challa? Who's T'Challa? I've got ships with me that I don't I recognize. Oh, it's Red Wing. Right, sorry. I, I, it's fine. I got mixed up. It's Red Wing that's following me. Blue Wing is awaiting orders. Right. All right. Should be fine. Okay, back to Savage Spur. Okay, back to the equipment dock. So of the landed ships, a number of Novas. What do they need? So they can take 325 megajoule shields apiece. And a selection of... Hang on. Weapon systems. Hang on. I see. Well, we've already got a bunch of... Oh, that's, that's modifying the price. I can never, rem I never remember how to do this. There we go. So this is the stock. What we have in stock. Okay. Twenty-five So I'm giving that Nova shields. Installed. Concussion impulse generator, impulse ray emitters. Oh, holy shit! We got we got eight hundred impulse ray emitters. A uh, type of weak laser. Um, can I buy some of Cyanide's underwear merch? You know what? I'm gonna say no, but I'm sure he's gonna ship me some anyway. Okay. Cool. Hang on a minute. Looking at the current loadout for Red Wing. They are armed with. Five impulse ray emitters and f three, four, three to five, three to four. Okay, three to four. What about missiles? Do you have any missiles? Not currently. Okay. Savage spur, the equipment dock, landed ships. 
this Nova. Okay. Impulse ray emitter installed. Particle. Okay, this Nova is now armed. 25, 25 megajoule shield installed. Impulse ray emitter installed. Particle. Particle accelerator arm. So two Novas of the six. This one, what do you have? Are oh, you already fully armed? It seems. Yeah, take Impulse a couple more. Ray in particle. Thank you, uh, Cheserok. Thank you very much. And Paolo, thank you kindly. That's very generous. So once these Novas are armed, I'll get them deployed. 25 megajoule shield. In Impulse ray emitter installed. Particle. Okay, and then one last one here. 25 megajoule shield installed. Okay, impulse ray emitters. Impulse, impulse ray emitter. Particle accelerator installed. cannons. Particle. Cool, that's all of them. Very good. Now we'll, assi we'll give them names, we'll assign them to Blue Wing and then send them out through the rest of the corporation. Uh, so hang on, if I've got Red Wing with me now, where's Blue Wing? Just going down to the security forces tab. So Red Wing, oh dearie me. Blue Wing is quite weak. We've lost a number of ships. Oh yes, indeed, we fought the Terrans, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so I'm just reading. I'm just reading the Google sheet beneath the stream. So Red Wing suffered multiple casualties fighting a Xenon K. Gold Wing was completely wiped out by a Terran at Saka, a destroyer at Heretic's End. They all died. Blue Wing is only on the strength of three ships, mostly Argon. Okay, in which case, let's uh, up the strength of Blue Wing. Just expanding this, bear with me. So it's six ships, I believe. Hang on, just typing in a Google Doc. I need volunteers. Stand by. Novas. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Savage Spur. Thank you, Zorus Live. Thank you very much, Zorus. Thank you. Okay, so let's go then. So I'm just going to assign the Novas over to Blue Wing quickly. Add to Wing Blue Wing. If they were in space, I could do this faster. At the minute, I've just got to do it individually. Because I could just go beep, boop, done. Blue Wing. Yeah. So a Nova is a type of heavy hitting Argon, as in human, fighter. They're pretty damn powerful, actually. Especially when they have numbers on their side. Yeah, they haven't, uh, the human engineers haven't gone cheap with the Nova. Although there are certain variants that are more powerful than others. This is just the standard. There we go, Blue Wing. Where is Blue Wing? Show me corporate wings. Blue Wing is currently... So, 10 ships now. It's stationed... Oh, it's just waiting here at uh, Savage Spur. Uh, the, yeah, they're all aboard the, the, the Twiggy's equipment dock. Oh, simple enough. Right, in which case... Um, yes, I require volunteers. Who wishes to join Blue Wing? Who wishes to serve the corporation? Novas. Here we go. So let's go. Let's go with Pender the Tender. Sorry, Pender the Tyrant. Nova. This Nova. Whoopsie. What have I done? Sorry, I misclicked there. Wings, blue wing. Okay. Thank you, Cregan. Uh, sorry, uh, thank you, Z uh, Zas Iriel, even. Cregan. Cregan Tur, I believe that is. Can I just press M to do it? Yes, I can. Good. Thank you, uh, Zas Eril. There you go. Eric Ruse. Whoop. Okay. Right. Thank you, Friss Games. Thank you very much, Friss. Thank you kindly. Chrono. 132. Nova. Okay. And then.
this Nova will be... Let's go with... Uh, is Six Gun Harlequin still there? Six Gun, did he want a Nova? Hang on. Just getting these names in. Cregan. How do you spell your name, Cregan? It is Cregan Terror, isn't it? Hang on. Just adding the, adding all of these names. Cregan Terror Chrono. 132. Eric Roos. Okay. Pender. The Tyrant. Zasiril. There we go. Is he there? He might he might bug it off. Eh. You can always object. Six gun. Harlequin. Okay, six gun Harlequin. Okay, there we go. Argon purchased. Hang on, so manufactured. Corp built Nova from Savage Spur. One, two, three, four, five. Cool, there we go. Uh, is that all of you? So that's real six guns, Pender, Eric Ruse, Chrono, Cregan. Cool, so we're now 10 strength. 10 strength, is that 10? One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing a ship on this list. Boothroid, Old Man, Doom Knight Fury. Wait. I've got Doom Knight Fury on this list. I don't see him here. Where is he? He oh see sorry, he's there, but he's just not assigned to Blue Wing for some reason. So I must have missed another ship. Eleven ships in this wing. So Cregan, Chrono, Eric, Pender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, the Deckers. The Decker. It's not even part of the wing. No, it is part of the wing. Right, Captain Stu. A Decker, a type of prototype corporate vessel. Can it fight? Is it capable? Yeah, I guess so. It's got prototype antimatter launcher weaponry. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose track, though. Okay, hang on. Jump device oh, fuck. Insufficient Not energy. energy Gonna go Dolphin dock. Hang on. So for those just joining the stream, I was just arming up some security forces. Since we suffered a few losses earlier, I've been manufacturing replacement fighter craft to act as anti-pirate or xenon patrols. And uh, I've just added about six Nova to the uh, to Blue Wing. Welcome back on board. Connection to local okay. trading network established. Oopsie. So now let me just grab some energy cells off this facility. Energy. Then head back to Savage Spur, which is our headquarters. Enter from the south gate. 10%. Any news about Halo, uh, Halo with Psy? Yeah, as far as I know, it's still on. Entering system. Savage Spur. So that's Twiggy's equipment dock. And yeah, then Blue Wing is here. Good. Order Blue Wing to enter formation with me. Here they come. Buster. Blue Wing is deploying from the hangar base. Cool. So it's a it's a group of fighter craft that are going to work together, fight in formation. How many have just been deployed? I see they they deploy slowly as to avoid collisions. Yeah, here they Decker, come. Kefa. That's the that's the uh, the prototype Decker. 
Strange vessel indeed, using antimatter-based weaponry. I wonder if the headquarters has headquarters. disassembled one of those. Do we know how to build them? Add to production queue. Hmm. We had a couple of them. We would have thought we would have disassembled, uh, reverse engineered one. Oh, hang on. The station is out of credits. Uh, which means it's not going to be producing any fresh Novas. Transfer over... Five... Oh, not 50. Hang on. Five million credits. Fun. That should keep it ticking for the moment. Okay, so hang on. Nova. So there's six-gunner Harlequin. Fully armed Argon Nova. The cockpit sits there, I believe. So it's quite a large ship. Uh, this is an M3, I think, so it's a heavy fighter. Compare this to the Buster, which Buster. is here, which is an M4, I think. If I remember, if I, if I remember the designations correctly, M4. Yes. So this is a this is a fighter. So the Nova's much longer, much heavier, with much more advanced weaponry and shields. So this is metallic shade, uh, metallic shade, the Buster. Okay. Yeah. So here's Blue Wing entering formation. Just watching as they fly past, making sure they're all fully armed. They seem to be. Slow down. Come to a halt. Let them form up. Then I'll see what else I need to do. Oh yes, of course, I need to make sure that Twiggy is in fact purchasing replacement particle accelerator cannons for the ones that I've just had mounted on these vessels. Okay, they're forming a V formation around me. Buster. Cool. Sweet. Right. So, Twiggy's equipment dock, landed ships. There remains a Buster and a Raijin. Okay. And also my personal Nova. Uh. Hmm. Twiggy the Cayman. So the Raijin is a. It's an M4 pirate vessel, isn't it? I believe. Was that in the. No, wait. We do know how to manufacture the Raijin. So it's a surplus Raijin. We might as well just add it to Blue Wing. Take care, Cancel. Have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah. So I sent it. I thought I sent it to the headquarters for reverse engineering, but I guess it's just ready for deployment. So I might as well just get it, get it in service. Land the ships. The Raijin. So it's an M4. So it's like the Buster. It's a fast mover. Times two, five megajoule shields. Okay. And show me its weapons complement. Currently nothing. We'll give it five impulse ray emitters. To keep it light. Okay. Uh, hang on. Five, five. Was it two or three? I just give it three. It's fine. Okay, and then give it yeah, impulse four impulse ray, ray emitters and two particle install. accelerators. So Twiggy is not retrieving. So Twiggy's still on standby. He's not retrieving the goods that I wanted him to retrieve. Right. <clears throat> so why is that then? Have the Raijin enter Blue Wing and then report to me. I need to give it a name. Uh, <clears throat> any volunteers? Quickly. Uh, any just quick volunteers for the Raijin? I should get to work. Yes, I should. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'll be doing this all afternoon. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Friss Games. Welcome, Friss. Okay, Friss. Head straight to me. Oh, wait. You have automatically because I entered you into Blue Wing. So your the Blue Wing's orders Riding. went straight down to, uh, to Friss. See, it's a much smaller vessel. This is Paranid, I believe. So it's sleeker, organic looking. Quite cool from the underside there. <clears throat> Very quick as well. 200 meters per... Uh, yeah. 198 meters per second. Okay. Right. Add you to the blue wing. Raijin. Wait, is it right? No, Raijin's a pirate vessel, isn't it? Hmm.
surplus pirate vessel and it's a blue wing. Very good. So we have a restored blue wing. What's the carrier Aggie currently doing? Landed ships. Aggie. Two landed ships aboard it. A damaged Perseus Raider and a Buster. Are they the remnants of a different wing? Who are they? Hang on. Oh yeah, hang on. Oh, they're the survivors of Goldwing. That sucks. Yeah, so Pizza Misa and Vutha Milanda are the last survivors of the destruction of Goldwing. Added to Red Wing temporarily while they were waiting for the restoration of gold. Okay, I'll leave them there for the moment. I, I was going to assign Blue Wing to the carrier. It's fine. Uh, right, Blue Wing. I would like you to take up defending patrol, anti-pirate patrol operations. Begin your patrol. Start at Savage Spur. Continue onwards to Duke's Vision. Go. Blue Wing have started their anti-pirate combat patrol. So a single wing leader will come to the front. There they go. Good luck. They're off pirate hunting. In fact, actually, thinking about that, there's already someone on an anti-pirate patrol. Where's Duck Slayer? Oh no, wait, he's quite far away, isn't he? He's, um, well, you might as well join him. Join Duck Slayer. With... So I've got a frigate, haven't I? A powerful frigate. An expensive frigate. A Demos. Defending a sector. Spring of Belief. Why Spring of Belief? Oh, I see, because it's on the crossroads between, yeah, various different pirate activities. Hmm. Who's Blue Wing's leader? Does it specify the leader on this on this screen? Moving in formation. I don't think it does. I think I need to assign it, but I need to make a fleet first. It's fine. I'll I'll leave Blue Wing doing what they're doing for now, and uh, Duck Slayer can go and protect protect the Spring of Belief. Okay. Right. So, still haven't fi still uh, still haven't sorted out the main problem. The uh, Particle accelerator cannons have stopped being produced because there's no demand. So I'm trying to make demand by using them within using them within the corporation. So what if I modify? What if I modify the purchasing? Where's list? One entry. Particle accelerators. Whoops, I got rid of them. Yeah. Where's list one? Trade duties. Station set exceptions. Trade list. Not the blacklist, this is a trade list. Add a sector maybe? Duke's vision? Does that make the difference? I had one for red. Did I? Oh yeah, sorry, no, you're right. I did assign one, didn't I? Okay. Well, in which case, if, if Do Night Fury is there, then he is the most experienced of all of Blue Wing compared to all the others. There he is. Alright, so he's the wing leader. Yeah, he's also a very well armoured uh, Nova. I think he's a better type. What is he? Not sure what he is. Hang on. Wing leader. Alright, Do Night Fury is the wing leader of Blue Wing. Okay. Um, so, how do I get this ship to start moving? What do I need to do? Just tell you to begin? I need him to go and purchase particle accelerator cannons. Maybe he's inexperienced. No, no, no. You should be able to buy things just fine. What if I speed up time for a minute? Does he start flying? Uh, yes, this is carbon-based life forms. Nah, it's not new. This is ancient. Look at all the ships going back and forth. All of my merchant ships retrieving resources for the headquarters. Mm. What's it bringing anyway? Microchips. 
So effectively, in order to manufacture vessels at the headquarters, there's a long laundry list of materials that are required. So we have to sort of bolster the local economy or make our own independent stations to manufacture these goods. So these merchant ships of my corporation are retrieving cloth, computers, crystals, energy cells, mass driver ammunition, microchips, ore, quantum tubes, raster oil, silicon wafers, and teladianium. Teladia teladianium. Yeah, that is right. From all over Paranid space and beyond. It's expensive. But if we do it, then we can manufacture vessels of our own. It takes hours, but we can do it. Okay. So, <laughs> Soviet Womble Catering Headquarters, you have doubts that you're just feeding the galaxy. Well, not just, but we do have a large... So, Lieutenant Darkmoor has a Nostrop oil production facility. So, it's like a delicious and nutritious oil that they put uh, as flavouring uh, upon their noodles. And uh, sunrise flowers are grown and then crushed and then turned into oil, which we're selling at a, at a, at a premium price. Oh, yes. Space profits. Space profits. But yes, we also make torpedoes. That's something we do. Okay, well, I think I need to work this out later. I've run out of time, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Um, so, effectively, this stream, I've just been fucking about trying to fix logistical problems with my corporation. Blue Wing has been restored and is up to a total strength of 11, 11 ships, I think. And they're off on a, a, an anti-pirate patrol around what should be relatively safe space. So we should be all right. But you never know. Uh, so they're going about doing their business. I've managed to sort out social systems station. That's not a station. This is a station. Good. And they're now mass producing hammer heavy torpedoes and flail barrage missiles. Excellent. At a high profit margin. Very nice. And of course I can choose whenever I wish to stop the selling in order to have NEP, which is a missile frigate currently stationed there. Can you see her there? In order to have her armory properly assembled, because she's going to be needing those ha those hammer heavy torpedoes. It's her main arsenal. Right, so thank you for watching everyone. Uh, so this has been a bit of X3 Albion Prelude, a space sandbox economy sim game. Wait, who the hell are you? Oh, it's Red Wing. Yeah. I've got, still got Red Wing following me, protecting me. Okay. Do I have my guns enabled? There they are. Pew, 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 pew. Powerful turret-based weapons on the front of this Corvette. Right, cool. Um, so yes, uh, now, before I, get, yeah, before I go away, just to get you up to speed on what's happening right now, I'm currently working on the latest bullshittery, which is Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 1. It is on its sixth week of work. I'm so sorry. I know it's I know it's been some time. Uh, it's taken so long because there was about two weeks of pre-production work at the start of the project because I had to figure out exactly what clips I had available to me. And also uh, there was the Christmas and the New Year break, which drained away quite like about five collective days of work um, from the edit because obviously family engagements and stuff like that. So um, hang on a minute. So that's just the situation, but I'm working on it as best I can. I just need to get, just sit down, stay in this chair until 8 o'clock and just work to the best of my ability. So it's Wednesday, so I don't know what's going on this evening in terms of gaming. We've moved the VR stuff to Saturday, so I'm sure I'll be around doing something or another. Um, yeah, so take care. Have a lovely, lovely afternoon. Just time, to, time for me to go and get on, yeah, get straight back to the editing cave and uh, just, yeah, crack on really. So thank you again, folks. Hang on. So who's currently streaming? So ZF Yuki is streaming. Who else might be streaming? Uh, Alistair. Alistair or Yuki? Uh, let's do Alistair. Why not? So uh, Alistair is doing a bit of RimWorld. Uh, he, yeah, so he's uh, managing his colony. So I will hand you over to him. Hang on. Right, so uh, yeah, have a lovely, lovely afternoon. All the best. See you soon. And this is Alistair. <laughs>